what is going on guys i am back once again with a video tutorial on my phone that is zolo play 6 x 1000 and in this tutorial i will be showing you how you can have multi user support without installing any app or module of expose so before that let me show you that i am not using any module and this is the expose installer and the module section and you can basically check out that I am not using multi user module of exposed but then too I am having the multi user support in the stock room so you can see that I am having two different profiles the first one is the primary one and to achieve that you need few things first is the root access so you can see that I am having the super SU app and uh, many of the apps have requested for the root shell so I am having the root access and second is the ES file explorer so this explorer really helps in editing and modding the files of the ROM in the runtime so you need to click on root explorer over here so that it gets enabled and also show the hidden files option after doing that click on internal storage and then move on to the oblique section that is the root section and then click the system folder once you are within the system folder just search for the build.prop click on it and open it with any editor I will be using ES note editor and once you have opened it up scroll down at the end and where it is written the last line just click on it and press enter once and click on edit by choosing the option now as you can see I have written down three lines extra that is fw dot max user equals 5 fw dot show multi user ui equals 1 and lock screen dot rotate underscore override equals true after writing these three lines I have to reboot completely that is a full reboot do not do any fast reboot or like that soft reboot or recovery but you have to do full reboot after doing that you will see this section popping up in your stock phone and you can add any users in your phone but you cannot switch by just clicking the power menu because they will not be showing over there so you have what you need to do is you need to click on auto rotate this function should be activated so that the lock screen will be rotated and you will be seeing two options in that let me show you and uh, once I rotate my screen I can have two different options uh, over here I'm I can just click on it and move there so basically this is the thing that you need to do and uh, multi user support will be activated because it is officially supported by android thank you guys have fun